Hello, I'm Robert Serrato, Recycling Manager for the City of Oxnard's Environmental Resources Division. I'm here to give an update on the State of California's Corrective Action Plan for the City of Oxnard's Solid Waste Operations. Recommendation that the Public Works and Transportation Committee recommend that the City Council receive and file the State of California Senate Bill 619 Corrective Action Plan for the City of Oxnard's Solid Waste Operations. State of California Senate Bill 1383, also known as the Short-Lived Climate Pollutants Law, was signed on September 9, 2016. SB 1383 requires jurisdictions to increase diversion of organic waste from landfills and meet the statewide target to divert organic landfill disposal by 75% in 2025. The law took effect on January 1st, 2022 and required compliance with the majority of its provisions by that date. The city and many other jurisdictions have struggled to comply with SB 1383's deadlines due to a variety of factors, including a lack of existing local infrastructure to process organic waste, supply chain disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, staffing shortages, and the lack of funding for this unfunded state mandate. State of California Senate Bill 619 was passed to provide jurisdictions with relief from penalties for not complying with SB 1383 requirements by January 1st, 2022. SB 619 allowed the city to submit a notice of intent to comply to the California Department of Resources, Recycling and Recovery. The City Council passed Resolution Number 15542 on March 1st, 2022, allowing the submittal of a NOIC to CalRecycle, proposing a timeline for execution of the provisions of SB 1383. CalRecycle issued a draft corrected correction action plan to the city in November 2022. Environmental resources staff and CalRecycle staff work to finalize the cap tasks and target completion dates. CalRecycle issued a final cap to the city on March 6, 2023, that outlines the tasks the city must complete in order to come into compliance with SB 1383. The city of Oxnard is one of 160 California cities that have been issued a cap. CalRecycle's cap lists 30 tasks to be completed by March 1st, 2024. Nine tasks have been completed by the city and ER staff needs to provide verification to CalRecycle. The remaining 21 tasks need to be completed no later than March 1st, 2024, or the city could be issued administrative civil penalties of $500 to $10,000 per violation per day. In order to comply with the state mandates, ER staff will be reaching out in person and by mail through the United States Postal Service to commercial, industrial, and residential customers to help bring them into compliance. The biggest SB 1383 compliance challenge is getting residential, multifamily, and commercial waste generators to comply with the new state mandates. Despite numerous attempts to inform our customers, we have yet to reach the state's mandated thresholds for organics and recycling services. The following are highlights of the city's outreach efforts conducted to date. The city mailed four separate letters asking multifamily and commercial generators to sign up for organic and non-organic recycling service or apply for a waiver if eligible. After mailings, staff followed up with phone calls to non-compliant commercial and multifamily generators in 2020 and 2021. Mail inserts were sent to generators in their utility bills, informing them of the new organic waste recycling mandates. ER staff has hosted over 25 information booths passed out flyers and conducted presentations on SB 1383 at over 25 community events. 
ER staff must also conduct annual route reviews of all commercial and residential waste collection routes. Organic and non-organic recycling waste containers will be randomly selected and inspected for prohibited items. Waste generators who place prohibited items in a container will be notified of the violation and information will be provided to minimize contamination of the organic and non-organic recycling waste stream. CalRecycle has calculated the city's annual organic waste product procurement target at 16,374 tons. The city will have to identify additional organic waste product procurement opportunities to meet our procurement target. ER staff will work with other city departments to expand the use of recovered organic waste products throughout all city divisions. SB 1383 also requires the state by 2025 to recover 20% of edible food for human consumption that would otherwise be disposed of. To achieve this goal, the city will partner with the County of Ventura and participating cities to create and develop the Ventura County Regional SB 1383 Food Recovery Plan to work with commercial food generators and food sharing nonprofits to recover edible food. In order to comply with SB 1383, ER staff will visit non-compliant multifamily and commercial generators and begin issuing notice of violations. The NOV process will work as follows. First NOV, allows the generator 20 days to come into compliance by starting service for non-organic and organic waste recycling or submitting proof of eligibility for a waiver. Waiver eligibility will be determined by ER staff. Second NOV, if no action is taken within the first 20 days of the first issued NOV, ER staff will issue the generator a second NOV through a formal letter via certified mail and allow an additional, an additional 20 days to comply. Third NOV, if no action is taken after the second NOV, a third and final NOV will be issued through a formal letter via certified mail or hand delivered, allowing an additional 20 days to comply for a total of 60 days from the first NOV. If no action is taken by a multifamily or commercial generator after the third NOV, per section 19-162D of Oxford City Code, the city will automatically provide the necessary services in order to comply with the non-organic and organic waste recycling requirements of SB 1383. The addition of non-organic and organic waste recycling services will be reflected in the waste generator's utility bill. Cost will vary depending on the required services in order for the generator to come into compliance. Failure to comply with SB 1383 by March 1st, 2024 will result in the city being issued administrative civil penalties of no less than 500 and no more than $10,000 per violation per day from CalRecycle, depending on the severity of the violation. Additionally, Section 18996.9 of SB 1383 gives CalRecycle the authority to directly issue an NOV and administrative civil penalties to a waste generator for failing to comply with the state's mandates. Environmental resources staff will continue to work to meet the requirements of SB 1383 by providing outreach to residents and businesses, conducting site visits to evaluate service level needs, performing inspections of waste containers to minimize contamination of the organic waste stream, and by issuing notice of violations to non-compliant waste generators. Unrelated to the cap, currently organics received at the Del Norte Recycling and Transfer Station are going to Agromen in Santa Paula and Simi Valley. The city of Oxnard is exploring developing an organic waste processing facility with Colony Energy Partners at Del Norte. 
If constructed, the facility will enable the city to reduce its costs of transportation and disposal of green and food waste currently collected by the city. Recovered organic waste can be used at, as feedstock in the production of renewable energy and as compost or fertilizer. Financial impact. There is no fiscal impact for the recommended action. Any new services required by SB 1383 will be charged per the current rate model when applicable. To comply with all aspects of the state's mandate, the city will need to procure additional materials and equipment in compliance with SB 1383, which may result in additional funding requests in future recommended operating budgets. That concludes my presentation. Thank you.